sometimes when you eat something you know you either tend to throw up or it doesn't sit well with you you get stomach cramps or you know you get a lot of bloating could that also lead to a food allergy no so uh, these are two different things food allergy and food intolerance these okay. are two different things when a child has a food allergy at that time even a micro quantity of that particular food will trigger the allergy and okay. immune response which would lead to mild symptoms like i said vomiting diarrhea itching uh, or uh, maybe severe symptoms like difficulty in breathing or anaphylaxis but with intolerance it's the gi tract that is involved so uh, that particular food is not uh, taken as an enemy for the immune system hmm. okay so it will not trigger an immune response hmm. but it will not be digested hmm. because that particular enzymes are not present for digestion so okay. he will have the child will have milder symptoms like vomiting diarrhea and those symptoms will not exhibit immediately hmm. it may take like 4 hours to 48 hours also for that child to exhibit symptoms uh, for an intolerance hmm. so food allergies and food intolerances are two different things